Today is the release day for ProPresenter 7.11, which brings us native background effects for the very first time. These effects allow us to use fills to change the look of our backgrounds. This is most useful, I think, to create an easily readable look behind our text. We can also apply an invert that'll give our slides a dynamic look. It's been hinted that more effects are coming in the future, but even with the two released in this update, ProPresenter 7 continues to show us how it's helping production teams inside and outside of the church to create incredible environments. Hi guys, I'm Nathan, and welcome to Crazy Amazing Designs right here on YouTube. On my channel, you'll find ProPresenter 7 training and other production-related content. So let's take a look at what these new background effects are and how we can practically use them. When showing lyrics or text as slides or notes in a presentation, all of us have experienced the annoyance that our text isn't as readable as we would have liked. Sometimes because of a busy background, sometimes because of an awesome background that we chose for the slide, there have been many tricks over the years to make it easier to see the text over the background. In the early 2000s, drop shadows were all of the rage. Simply add a shadow and now everything is, well, sort of readable. Another option is to add a dark background and lower the opacity. Some people still haven't figured out they can't use dark text with a dark background. The best option is to choose a background that contrasts well with the text color. So a dark background and a light white text color. I like to add black borders behind a white text. This works especially well when the output is going to a switcher and the green background is being keyed out, leaving only the graphic. Here I have ProPresenter 7.11, and let's go into my Worship Themes folder in the Themes Editor. You're gonna notice some changes to the themes layout in the new update. In the top left, click on Themes. When we see the Themes folder available, we can scrub through the folder by dragging over to see what's inside the folder. Select the theme to apply the slides or click edit in the top right to open the editor. You can also click the more button, then theme editor. Now in the top left, click the drop down to change between different theme folders. In my worship theme folder, I have the classic center screen and lower third themes. I'm going to create a new slide and copy my text box to it. To use the new feature, I'll select Fill and then choose one of the two background effect options. Let's first go with Blur. I can adjust the saturation, which makes colors more or less vivid. You can also adjust the amount of blur that this effect adds. As I change the settings and click Show, you can see the blur and color change behind the text in the output. The second effect is an invert, which you can use to invert parts of the image to create different looks. Something I like that churchmotiongraphics.com has been doing for years is creating shapes that add dimension to their graphics. I'll likely take some inspiration from some of their stuff that they've created. So here's an example of one of their extra packs. You can see here how they have a shape inside of the graphic that looks slightly different than the rest of the graphic. Effects only require a shape or text box, so you can add them to slides as design pieces. Inside our theme editor, I'll go ahead and add a shape to the slide, then create some sort of design element. Now I'll show the invert effect in my output. Well, thanks for checking out these new features in ProPresenter 7.11. Please consider subscribing to my channel and please like this video. I help teams and individuals do church and event production with excellence on this channel. So if you're learning about tech used in churches or would like training in ProPresenter or you're interested in my tech walkthrough videos, I hope you'll follow along. See you guys next time. Bye.